Hi, I'm Alexandra, a psychic spiritual counselor, and welcome to Alexandra's Psychic Eye. Akasha is a Sanskrit word meaning primary substance, that out of which all things are formed. The Akashic Record is a profound spiritual resource accessible through a simple sacred prayer that will enable you to develop your own spiritual authority. Come join us as we continue to further our understanding of our relationship with the Divine Source and the information that has been made available to all of us. Stay with us. Welcome back. Linda Howe is the founder and director of the Center for Akashic Studies and the leading expert in this dynamic field, specializing in the use of the Akashic Record as a path of empowerment and consciousness development. Linda is the author of How to Read the Akashic Records and has taught thousands of students to accurately read the Akashic Records themselves. And we're happy to have you back, and thanks for joining us again all the way from Chicago. Now, you have your book there. Would you hold it up of so course. the um, viewers can see it? It's called um, How to Read the Akashic Records. Now, that book is going from, from soup to nuts, everything somebody needs to know about Akashic Records. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This book has all the information anyone needs to learn how to open their own records and to open the records of other people. Wonderful. Now for those viewers who haven't seen part one of our, of our show, would you explain again briefly what the Akashic Records are all about? Of course, of course. Thank you. So the Akashic Record is a dimension of consciousness that contains the archive of every soul and their journey. That is. <laughs> I'm sure there's not one person out there they would not love to know about, you know, their past, present, future, everything. I mean, it's just, right. you know, it, it's, it's just what people want, want to know. Um, for example, <clears throat> I, had, uh, I have many students that come to me in my psychic spiritual practice, and she's very, very psychic. And she's been, she was always treated like the black sheep of her family. Mm -hmm. because of her psychic gift. Right. So how would you help her with that? Do you know, this is, this is fabulous, because I actually talk about the black sheep phenomena mm -hmm. in my book. Well, she's it. Okay. She fits right into that, <laughs> because she she's the black sheep, okay. and every, everyone in the family looks at her like, you know, she's uh, peculiar or strange, and she's so not peculiar and she's so not strange so what is that black sheep phenomena so what, what is that, that is about? it's really yeah. and you know what first I want to say that so many people so many light workers mm -hmm. people who are here really to open us up and to help us you know to really usher us in mm -hmm. to the new age yeah. right right the front runners right um, so many experience this. This yeah. is not unusual. Why is that? But here's what it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> In order to be strong enough to hold mm -hmm. the light, mm -hmm. an individual chooses. You know, we choose our families. I know. Okay, so you want to, anybody who's I wondering, know. you know, you want us <laughs> to take a good hard look before you throw the dart, yeah. right? Well, but here's the once thing. Once you're here, you're here. You're in, That's you're in. The, you're but in. the idea is that by being the one who really is unusual, that's not made up, that's for real, okay? Mm -hmm. The first thing to know is that yes, it is real. And second of all, that it is for, if you're the black sheep in, you know, someone's the black sheep in their family, mm -hmm. it's for their own growth. Oh, yeah. It's to be able to live through the disapproval of others. It's to grow beyond the need for the approval of other human beings. It is really to enable an individual to place all their reliance on the divine. Okay? Now that sounds, it sounds like a great idea, but when you're actually living a life 
and you have, you know, you're surrounded by a family that people, their family thinks they're a little kooky and no one takes them too seriously. That, as a human being, that's very hard. The other thing that's interesting about black sheep is that they have, at some level, volunteered to have their own growth and development be under the scrutiny of others. Okay, okay. so that they become an example of what's possible. Usually a black sheep in the course of their lifetime will have at least one very dramatic transformational episode. And everyone around will be witness to this. And sometimes everyone says, well, nothing happened. But you know, over time they do see that yes. Everyone, well, everyone you know, will admit it at some it's, point. It's the idea of um, if something traumatic uh, yeah. doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. That's right. And, and you I know, that's that really to true. All my patients and that's students. really true. And that's what happens that light, light givers, uh, luminas, I call them, um, they've all had traumas, one after the other. And it's because they are strong enough to, you know, their, it, their, their armor is tested, so to speak. Well, exactly. And their you know, armor is tested. Actually, I'm working on another book right now that's about healing through the Akashic Record. Mm. And it's about accessing the power of our sacred wounds. And, and what we know with people who are waking up, yes, that, that there are, there's a series of wounding experiences that people have for the purpose of coming to know um, the power within. Mm -hmm. You know, these experiences, you know, trauma, wounding, I mean, these are universal experiences. Human beings have had them, you know, through time. You know, great literature, it's all in you there. Know, I had, um I had a uh, student come to me, this was about a year ago. Something absolutely, unbelievably traumatic happened to them. They had put a lot of faith in a, a family member and th through a lot of tragedy, the family member had betrayed them. And they were absolutely like destroyed, like in a pool of uh, water on the floor. They're just, they just right. had a meltdown. Right. But I said to them, if this doesn't kill you, you will become the strongest person in the world from this. And they, it re they really did. And they got messages from people that have passed on mm -hmm. that said, act like it never happened. That doesn't mean that it, that it didn't happen. When you say, act like it never happened, it means it's as if it never happened. Live your life as, as as if it never happens. Be be an actor. You know, you know, perform. Right. Tell yourself it's okay. Right. And they went on, and they were very successful. However, they went through a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's one of those things, and and right. it fits right into what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Now, um, yours was a very personal journey to spirituality. At the age of 24, mm -hmm. you had an epiphany that set you on your present course. You want to tell us about that? Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, do you know, um, by the time I was 24, mm -hmm. I had really put a lot of time and energy into, I want to say, being good or getting things right. Um, I, I had always thought that if I just did everything right, then I would have peace. I thought that was the way to peace. I thought good management was the way to inner peace. <laughs> okay, so, so I woke up at 24 and found out that was not true. That was yeah. not the case. And what I, and I was like shocked. I woke up at 24, I had a fabulous apartment, beautiful clothes, nice friends, great job. I had everything I thought I wanted and I felt so dead inside. And it, which really, uh, of course, upset me tremendously. Mm -hmm. So I started to pray, and my prayer was, you know, God, if you're there, okay. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> if you're there, you really got to help me. Right. And I, so I prayed the desperate prayer, which mm -hmm. I really, I stand by the desperate prayer. It really right, works. Absolutely. Okay. 